Today, the whole world is battling the COVID-19 pandemic. As the number of positive cases grow each day, we're seeing the death toll rise into the thousands across the world due to the coronavirus. The World Health Organization has put forward simple steps that we can all adopt to protect ourselves. Simple things like washing our hands regularly with soap and water for at least 20 seconds, avoid touching our eyes, nose or mouth as these are the entry points for the virus into the body, keeping a distance of at least one meter between us and the next person, and using a tissue to cough or sneeze, or cough into our elbows if no tissue is available. We also have to make sure that we're disposing of the tissue properly. Following simple steps like these will allow us to stop the virus from spreading. We have seen how the absence of social distancing has resulted in a rapid growth in the number of infected people in many countries. Each and every one of us has a role to play today to stop this pandemic from getting worse. It is time for each and every one of us to act so that we can save ourselves, we can save our family and we can save our country. Let us stay at home and respect the lockdown conditions put in place by the government to stop the coronavirus from spreading. It is our duty to ourselves, it is our duty to our family, to our society, and it is our duty to our country. Our healthcare personnel are fighting against this virus day and night in our hospitals. Let us join this fight by simply keeping ourselves away from others, by staying at home. These are testing times for everyone and we know that it is not easy to stop our daily activities for a few weeks and stay at home. But as time seems to have come to a standstill, let us take this opportunity given to us to re-energize ourselves, reconnect within ourselves and our loved ones at home. Let us consciously choose to turn this difficult situation into a positive one by using the time at hand to be mindful, to reconnect to our spiritual self, to replenish our energy through yoga and meditation. Sri Sitpal Maharaj, in his message to the world, has recommended self-study, the study of spiritual books, the practice of meditation, and listening to the wealth of spiritual discourses available on the different platforms of Manav Uthan Seva Samiti. When the whole world outside has come to a standstill and is surrounded by negativity, let us choose to have a positive experience instead. Let us take this chance to go within. Let us take this chance to truly live.